Welcome to the Los Angeles Times Property Report. I'm Ann Simmons. Plans have been unveiled for a 550,000 square foot mixed-use office campus near Hollywood's famed Sunset and Vine. The development will encompass a full city block and will also feature a residential tower. Here to fill us in on the details of the project is Los Angeles Times real estate reporter Roger Vincent. Hello, Roger. Hi, Anne. So, Roger, first of all, um, as we know in real estate, location is very important. What, how significant is the location of this particular project? Well, this is important because Hollywood is an up-and-coming office market as our entertainment companies continue to grow. Uh, that location is just southwest of Sunset and Vine, and the whole Vine Street corridor from north of Hollywood, south of Sunset, is becoming very popular with for business, residential, and uh, hotel, retail. Now I understand that this is not just going to be any old office building or not your ordinary office building. What kind of features can we expect? What can we look forward to? Well, what these young companies like, and we're talking about creative firms in entertainment and technology, uh, they tend to like what we call a campus environment. Uh, one of the buildings we made to simulate kind of a, a bow trust ceiling building that might have been built uh, in the middle 20th century, those kinds of buildings are popular. The idea is a, is a low building with lots of open space so you can take your dog outside and, and work outdoors if you wish. Wow, and doesn't Hollywood already have an abundance of office buildings? Um, what, do we actually need this in the neighborhood? Well, uh, certainly the developers think so. They're gambling $300 million on, on developing it. Uh, there is a pretty good shortage, I would say, uh, of office space. It's certainly this type of space in Hollywood uh, because this is a growing industry so uh, certainly the developers expect there will be plenty of people to want to rent space there. Well we look forward to the arrival of this new building. Thank you Roger. Thanks Anne. For more on this project and other stories please visit latimes.com and follow us on Twitter at LA Times.